Something Fatimiyya is that why is it that this part of Islamic history is not known or so hidden from the general public? For example, with people like Yazid and Muawiyah, even though many try to defend them, there is still a huge question mark on them that even non-Shi'as accept. But for the first two caliphs, people won't hear a word against them, nor will they accept what happened. Why are these two personalities so highly respected regardless of what they have done? Regardless of what they have done, we need to realize that there are many who don't necessarily know what they did. They will know, of course, about the, the positive aspects of their rule. They are related to the Prophet, peace be upon his family, in yep. terms of being father-in-laws. Mm -hmm. They're there in that prophetic period. They migrate with the Prophet, peace be upon his family. But for many, they don't know um, about the Hadith, Fatima dies angry with Abu Bakr. There are many who don't know about Omar threatening uh, the burning of the house for certain. Um, and so, you got to remember as well that Abu Bakr and Omar, in reality, in the same way people say that the Shia have this concept of Esma and Ma'sumin, that after the Prophet died, there's a group of people who are Ma'sum, mm -hmm. called the Imams. Yep. Abu Bakr and Omar are virtually untouchable. Um, and you really, it's very sensitive for a person to even think of questioning them. Mm. Um, Umar ibn al-Khattab is compared to prophets in the sense that, you know, the hadith, if there was a prophet after me, it would be Umar. It, it's, it's untouchable. Mm. If Umar decides taraweeh, then taraweeh it is. If Umar decides to ban mut'ah, then mut'ah is banned. If Umar decides that hayya ala khayr al-amal is not to be in the adhan, then that's to be removed. Um, you know, it, it, virtually he can have his ijtihad on so many issues, even if it goes against something that the Prophet said, and it's virtually untouchable. And if you're brought up revering someone like that who's virtually untouchable, then the Shi'i opinion of him becomes too sensitive to listen to. Uh, many Shi'a, for years, there's many Shi'a in countries around the world who were not able to discuss Fatimiyyah mm -hmm. because, um, you know, it's censored, you know, talking about the companions where you're looking at some of the negatives of what the companions um, were involved in. Sure. Skirmishes, mm -hmm. battles, war of words. You know, there are certain companions who hated each other. Mm -hmm. uh, they hated one another with a passion. Wow. Um, and yet you can't really talk about that, you know. Um, you know, there's no love lost between Uthman bin Affan and Abu Dhar al-Ghafari, uh, Muawiyah and Imam Ali, Amr ibn al-As and Imam Ali, uh, alayhi salam. Um, you know, and there's others who, who cannot stand each other. Yeah. But you can't talk about that, you know. And, um, and because you can't talk, especially about the first two caliphs, mm. it means that a lot of people become desensitized from that discussion. I sent him saying that. Um, now this next question says,